hook upper, front, back. Jab, cross, 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 hook upper, front, back. Two more. Front, back. Jab, cross, hook upper. Hold the front kick back kick. Front side, other leg uh, forward, left, uh, right, left, hook, upper, front, back. That's a combo. Jab, cross, hook, upper, front, front, back. Front, back. Two more. Front, back. Front, back. Last one. Hold the front kick back kick. Front, back. Push out with the heel. Push out with the heel. Four, three, two, jack it out. Let's go, jack it out. Four, three, two, right jab. Here we go, right jab, right jab. Ajax. Left side. Let's catch up beat. Left side. Four more. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. Ajax. Here we go. Ajax. Right side. Ajax, here we go. Ajax. Left side. Four jacks, here we go. One, two, three, four. Right, two, three, four. Left side. One more time. Right side. Jack it out. Left side. Two for two, here we go. One, two, right side. One, two, left side. One, two, right side. One, two, left side. One more time. One, two, right side. One, two, left side. One, two, right side. Singles, jab, 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 jab. Four, three, two, right leg, here we go, kick, kick, right side. Four, three, two, add a reach down, you got kick, reach down, kick. Reach down, kick, reach down. Adding on, here we go, kick, reach down. Lunge, two, three, four, kick, reach down. Lunge, two, three, four, kick, reach down. Lunge, two, three, four, we're gonna come back to center. Reach down, lunge. Two more times. Reach down. Last one. All right, hold your lunges. Hold your lunges. Four, three, two. Back to center, here we go, jab. Now keep your abs tight, twist at the waist. Keep your elbows close to your side. All right, we got squat, squat. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Four, three, two, uppercuts. Here we go, uppercuts. Twist at the waist, uppercuts. Four, three, two, squats. Here we go, sit down, 
squeeze on the way up. You got it. Four, three, two, left leg kick. You got it. Kick, step, kick, step. Left side. Here we go. Kick. Adding on. Here we go. Kick. Reach down. Kick. Reach down. Kick. Reach down. Here we go. Kick. Reach down. Adding on. Lunge. Two, three, four. Kick. Reach down. Lunge. Two, three, four. One more time. Reach down. Lunge. Two, three, four. Reach down. One more time. Reach down. All right, continuous lunges. Here we go. Reach. That's it. We got four, three, two. Back to center. Here are your jabs. Back to your jabs. Keep those abs tight. <clears throat> four more. Here we go. Four, three, two. Eight squats. One more time. Eight squats. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Uppercuts. One more time. Uppercuts. Four more. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. Squats. Here we go. Sit down. Sit down. Good. Sit back in that chair. You got eight. Nice work. Add the knee. Here we go. Knee. Twist. Knee. Twist. Knee. Elbow to knee. Knee and twist. Knee and twist. Hold it down. Pulse it. Yellow. Yellow. Four more. Here we go. Four. Tell your brother. Three. Two. Knee and twist. Here I'll we go. Back when I get another song. Twist. That's it. Nice job. Four. Three. Two. Hold it down. Get low. Get low. All right. Since we started kind of late, I forgot to tell you. Today, if you were here yesterday, we did a lot of upper body. Today, all legs. All right. Shake it out, shake it out. All right. So, all the burnouts that we did yesterday with the upper body, we're going to do with the lower body today. All right. Okay. So, make sure you have your weights. Make sure you have a towel. I'm going to show you the first one. Now, the first one, you could do with no weights. You could also hold the weight at your chest if you want to. Okay. The first one is a drop squat. You start with your feet together. You're going to drop into a squat and bring your feet back. Modification. Step into the squat. Step into the squat. You can be like trying to hold the dumbbell right at your chest. All right? 45 seconds. Here we go. Let's go. Again, hold. Um, a dumbbell. You don't have to hold a dumbbell. That's fine. Nice job. Good. This is the modification. Otherwise, drop squat. And you want to drop your butt. Sit back in that chair. Don't have your knees come forward. You got 20 more seconds. That's it. Nice job. You got it. Nice work. Eight more seconds. Last five. Four. Three. All right. Good job. So next one, you got a 15 second break. I have my knees slightly bent. I bend forward. My arms are forward. I'm going to row through my elbows back. Tricep kick back. Bring it in. Bring it in front. All right. Here we go. In. Kick back. In. Out. In. Kick back. In. Out. Make sure you push your feet, uh, butt back. You're not low in a squat. Your knees are just gently bent. Just because I don't want you to knock your knees. And make sure you're back in squat. Bring it in. Tricep. In. Out. That's it. You got 20 more seconds. This is how it looks from the front. Keep the elbows close to the body. That's it. 
squeeze the triceps at the top. You got it. You got 10 more seconds. That's it. Nice work. Last three, two, and one. All right, this next one, we got crisscross uh, jacks. You're gonna start with your arms out. You're gonna crisscross your feet and opposite. All right, here's the modification. Cross it over. Let's go. Crisscross jacks. Here's the modification. Otherwise, you're gonna cross your hands over and under. And then with the feet, again, crisscross, keep alternating. Again, if you don't want to jump, you just got to do this. But make sure you take your foot back. Keep those arms in front, about shoulder height. You got 25 more seconds. That's it. Crisscross. Crisscross. That's it. And again, 10 more seconds. Let's keep that heart rate up. Heart rate's going to stay up. Come on. Eight more. Last three, two, and one. All right, grab your towel. Lay on your back, on stomach. You're gonna be on your back. Arms in front of your towel. You're gonna lift up into a Superman, bring the towel close to your, under your chin, and bring it back out, and down. Let's go. Up, bring it in, back, and down. Make sure you, when you're doing this, you have tension in your towel. Your towel's not like this. Hold it tight, stretch it out. You're like, you're stretching that towel as far as you can and you're gonna breathe in, squeeze the top of the shoulder blades together, bring it back out to that Superman, all right? 25 more seconds. Let go, and bring it down. Superman, bring it in, out, down. Again, you gotta make sure you're holding that towel super tight. Eight more seconds. Eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Use your towel to towel yourself off. All right, we're gonna stop, start at the top again. We got the drop squats. Again, hold the dumbbell if you wish, you don't have to. Again, here's the modification. You got five more seconds. Catch your breath. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Drop squat, drop squat. In and out. Again, hold the dumbbell at your chest if you want. If you don't wanna jump, just step. Step, step, and make sure you stay safe with your squats. <clears throat> Always make sure your heels are where the weight is. You should be able to lift up your toes when you do a squat. Push your butt back. Always keep that chest up, look straight ahead. Don't lean forward. Don't cave your chest in, okay? Let's go, we got 15 more seconds. You got it. Nice job. You got it. I hope everyone's looking forward to the leg burnouts later. Three, two, and one. All right. Now you got your uh, dumbbells, or just <coughs> use uh, you can use water bottles. Push your hips back. Back is flat. Row in. Tricep kick back. Bring it in. Bring it out. Let's go. In. Tricep. In. Bring it out. So when you bring it forward, it's in front of you. Let's go. Nice job. And when you extend, you really want to feel that tricep right there. Your arm should be straight. You got 25 more seconds. Let's go. Again, you're just pushing your hips back. Your knees are just soft. You don't want to lock your knees. Let's go. Nice job. You got 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. All right, time, good job. Okay, drop it. You got your 10 second break or 15 second break. We got our crisscross jumping jacks again. So again, remember, start out wide, cross your feet, out, cross your feet. All right, again, modification. Here we go, 45 seconds starts now. And again, you feel free to just do the modifications because you just wanna keep moving. You want to keep your arms and really crisscross over and under. Keep it about shoulder height. Keep breathing. Nice job. You guys got it. You got it. 18 more seconds. Let's go. 
18 more seconds. Last 13. 10 more. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, good job. Remember, grab your towel again. You're gonna be on your stomach. Superman, hold the towel in front. Squeeze the top of the shoulder blades together, all right? <clears throat> here we go. Five more seconds, catch your breath. All right, here we go. Lift up, Superman. Bring it right underneath your chin. Bring it out and back down. Superman, bring it in, out, down. And remember, you gotta pull that towel tight. Pull it tight, pull it tight. Don't slack off on the towel. You wanna stretch the towel as far out as you can. Stretch, bring it back. Stretch, bring it back. Great job. And remember, you're gonna squeeze the glutes to lift the, butt, uh, the legs up off the air, okay? Use that lower back, you got eight more seconds. Nice work. Three, two, and one. Good, three seconds circuit already done. We only got one more circuit of this one. That's it, that went by super fast. You got eight more seconds, towel off. All right, we're gonna go back to the drop squats. You got three more seconds. Grab your weight if you want. Here we go, drop squat. Again, you don't need to use a weight. And again, you could just feel free. Step side to side, keep that chest up. Look at yourself in the mirror, or if you have a mirror, just look straight ahead. That's it. Sorry, I forgot. Probably don't have a mirror in the piano screen. <laughs> All right, you got 23 more seconds. Let's go. All right, 50 more seconds. Let's go. 10 more. Keep breathing. This is your last set of this, make it the best one. Three, two, and one. All right, last is best, remember, all right? Grab your dumbbells. We got the row into the tricep kickbacks. You got eight more seconds. Here's your chance to catch your breath. <clears throat> Get yourself ready. Let's work that upper body. All right, here we go. Push your hips back. Remember, we're gonna row, tricep kick back, bring it in, bring it out. In, out. Nice work. So I'm probably gonna come to the front. Front. Bring it all the way in. See how my elbows are staying close to my body? My elbows are not out here. You bring it straight in. And then you're gonna straighten the arms. That's it. You got 20 more seconds. Keep everything close to the body. Nice and slow. You got 10 more seconds. Five more. Let's go. Three, two, and one. All right, drop it. You go one more last set of the crisscross jumping jacks. Take advantage of your 15 seconds. Wipe yourself off. Last bit of cardio for this circuit. Five more seconds. All right, remember, start out wide. You're starting to start with your chin. Let's go. Crisscross. Crisscross. Again, if you don't want to jump, just do this. Keep moving. Just keep moving. You still keep your heart rate up. Your arms are slightly above your heart, so that's gonna help keep your heart rate up. Let's go. Nice job. And I really want you to crisscross over and under. All right? 18 more seconds. Almost done with this circuit. We got 13 more, 13 more, let's go. Eight more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, take your 15 second break, grab your towel. Use the towel off. All right, so remember, Superman, and you want you to hold your towel tight, all right? Hold that towel tight. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Superman, bring it in, right underneath your chin. Bring it back out, and down. Up, bring it in. And again, you wanna stretch that towel. You wanna stretch it as far out as you can. Lengthen the towel, always keep that tension in the towel. You're gonna use that tension to your advantage. Let's go. Nice. Bring it out, bring it in. Let's go. 
Bring it in. Bring it out. Nice job. Squeeze those glutes. You got 10 more seconds. You got it. Five more. Three, two, and one. All right, I'm going to show you our next, beginning of our next circuit. All right, <clears throat> so we're going to go fast feet and we're going to go uppercut. So you're going to speed. Now, if you're a beginner, you're just going to drop squat. Otherwise, advanced speed. One, two, tuck jump. All right, let's go. Fast feet. One, two, squat if you're a beginner. One, two, tuck jump if you're advanced. All right, up to you. You do whatever version you want to do. But you want to get fast feet, stay on the balls of your feet, and then your uppercuts, you're just going to roll it, keep those abs tight, and just drop squat. Go at your own pace. 18 more seconds. Huh? Is this a break or are we going to... So you're just going one, two, and then tuck jump. One, two, and then tuck jump. All right? If you don't want to do the tuck jump, you're just going one, two, Drop squat. Time. All right, sorry, I didn't explain that quite as well as I could have. All right, take your um, dumbbells. Start with your feet together. You're going to be in your right lunge. You're going to bring it in. If you keep the knee up, that's great. Hammer curl overhead. Stay on the right side. Let's go. Side lunge. Bring that knee up. Hammer curl. If it's too hard to have your knee up, that's fine. You can put your knee on the floor. All right? You're only going to stay on your right side. Right side. And you want to get deep into that side lunge. If you can keep that right knee up, great. Lunge. Hammer curl, overhead press. So you want to try to balance on the left leg as much as you can. If you need to, lightly tap your toe down to the ground. That's fine. Stay on the right side. You got eight more seconds. Let's go. Three, two, and one. All right. Next one. We all know this move. You're going to start in your plank position. And you're going to be in a nice plank. Don't have your butt up in the air. You're going to bring your knee across the body and knee across the body. All right. So you're going to bring your knee to opposite elbow. All right. Let's go. So if you're advanced, you pick up the pace. If you're a beginner, you just slow it down. Advanced people, you just do it faster. That's all. But again, keep that core tight. Make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Your hands shouldn't be out front and your butt should not be up in the air. Bring your knee across the body. And again, feel free. You could just slow it down. That's fine. If you're advanced, you want to keep your heart rate up a little higher, just speed it up. You got 13 more seconds. 13 more seconds. Hey, more. You got it. Three, two, and one. All right, good job. So, you're going to grab your dumbbells again. So, we're going to do that same exercise as we're going to be on the left side. All right? So, remember, you're going to bring it down, lunge, hammer curl, overhead press. Now, if you can bring the knee into a, bring the knee up, that's great. If it's too hard to do the knee, don't worry about it. Just focus on this part. All right? Just focus on the lunge, hammer curl, overhead press. Only left side. Only left side. All right? Again, if you can have the left knee up when you do this, that's great. If not, don't worry. Focus on the lunge. Focus on the hammer curl to overhead press. Keep that chest up when you do the lunge. You got eight more seconds. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go back to the top. So let me explain this one again. So it's fast feet, uppercuts, one, two, and then the tuck jump. And then fast feet, uppercuts, tuck jump. If you don't want to do the tuck jump, remember, just drop and squat. Ready, let's go. Fast feet, one, two, and then tuck jump, or just squat. Go at your own pace, fast feet, but I want you to keep your abs tight. Uppercuts, keep those arms moving. And again, just drop squat if you don't want to jump. That's fine too. If you want to do the tuck jump, you bring your knees up to your chest and you try to tap your hands to your knees. We got 20 more seconds. Again, 
Keep that chest up if you're going to do the drop squat. You're just going to try to touch the hands to the ground. And again, bring the butt down. Let's go. Come on. Nice work. Five more seconds. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. So I told you today was going to be a lot of lower body. Grab your dumbbells. Again, right lunge, hammer curl, overhead press. You got it. Five more seconds. Catch your breath here. All right. Here we go. Right lunge. Bring it in. Hammer curl. Overhead press. All right. If you can keep, keep that leg up, great. If not, don't worry about the leg. Just focus on the hammer curl. Overhead press. Of course, it's a little harder if you're going to keep that knee up because you got to balance and you got to use your core a little bit more. Curl, hammer curl. Again, when you do the hammer curl and the overhead press, keep the um, dumbbells close to the body and your arms go straight up to the ceiling, all right? So you want to keep everything close to the body. Again, control. Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, so next one, we got the oblique down climbers again. Again, make sure you're in a nice plank position. Bring the knee to the opposite elbow across the body. You can speed it up if you want to take the cardio up a little bit more. Ready? Here we go. Let's go. And again, feel free just to slow it down and just work on bringing the knee across the body. Keeping the abs tight. Make sure your butt is not up in the air. I don't want to see any of this. We're not doing that. Make sure you start in that good plank position where your hands are right underneath you. Your butt is, your body is in straight line, okay? Butt's not up in the air. We don't want to see that. All right, keep going. You got 15 more seconds. Let's go. Come on. 10 more. Last five. Three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Take a 10 second break. We're gonna do the lunges on the left side, okay? Take full advantage of your break because you wanna go all out when you actually do the exercise. So use the break to your advantage. Three, two, and one. All right, left side, remember. Lunge, hammer curl, overhead. Now, if you can keep that left leg up off the floor, that's even better. That's good if you can. All right? But don't worry. You can always just lightly tap the toe so you still have the majority of your weight on the right. So if you can't bring the knee all the way up, start with that baby step. Start with that baby step. And then when you get stronger, again, you gotta engage your core when you do this. You're gonna keep that left knee up. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Look at that. Two rounds already done. Oh yeah, one more round of this, and then you're done. All right, we're not done, done, but we're done with this circuit. All right, okay, so remember, we got the uppercuts, fast feet, one, two, drop squat, or tuck jump. Ready? Let's go. One, two, tuck jump if you want. Again, fast feet, and I want you to have fast arms too, okay? Fast feet and fast arms. Can do it at your pace for about two beats, and then do your either squat or your tuck jump. But again, I want you to speed it up, and then drop, speed it up, or tuck. Good job. Speed up those arms. Come on, we're working those arms too, all right? Don't neglect those arms. And stay on the balls of your feet, and you want to keep your feet nice and light. You got 10 more seconds. Almost done with this one. Let's go. Nice job, come on guys. Last three, two, and one. Whew, I know, that was tough. All right, last of these lunges, and I told you today it was gonna be leg day, so we got lots of fun leg stuff today, all right? Okay, so if you heard yesterday, your arms hopefully are a little bit sore. I know those were fun burn All right, ready? Right side. Lunge, hammer curl, overhead press. Again, if you can keep that right knee up, that's great. That's better. But again, don't worry about it. If you can't, just keep the, just tight, tap the uh, toe to the ground. 
That's fine too. And want to get nice and deep in that lunge. Keep that chest up. Don't lean over. Eight okay, more seconds. Last five. Three, two, and one. All right. One more set of those oblique mountain climbers. I'm going to start with the circuit. Thank God. <laughs> All right, you got eight more seconds. Take advantage of this. All right. I want you to make this last set of oblique mountain climbers your best one. Here we go. Let's go. Again, bring the knee across the body. If you're going to speed up the pace, I want you to keep breathing. Make this one the best one. Come on, you got 30 more seconds. You're halfway there. Bring the knee across the body. Make sure your hands stay underneath your shoulders. Nice job. You got 15 more seconds. Eight more. Come on, keep going. Only a few more seconds left. You can push through it. That's how you finish. Three, two, and one. I know. Oh, thank God, right? Okay, only one more set of those lunges, all right? Again, take advantage of your rest. I'm going to give you a full rest. And you have the last one of this, okay? Here we go. Left lunge. Hammer curl, overhead. Again, if you can keep that left knee up, that's great. Got to be balanced. Nice. Again, focus on the lunge though. So don't worry if you can't bring that knee all the way up. Just have your toe and keep the weight on the right side. You got it. 20 more seconds. Let's go. This is it. We're almost done with the circuit. Eight more seconds. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Take a quick break. Towel off. All right. So if you guys were here yesterday, we did some burnouts for your arms. Today, we're doing some burnouts for your legs. All right. So, now, beginner. Don't use any weight. If you are advanced, you're gonna hold the weight at your chest. And you're gonna start with your feet out wide in a sumo, all right? Feet 45 degrees, hold your weight here. We're just gonna start with a regular sumo squat. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pivot. I'm gonna turn to my right side, and then I'm gonna come down into a lunge. I'm gonna pivot back. I'm gonna do a sumo squat in the middle. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna do a lunge, to the side, all right? So here we go. Start nice and easy. Again, no sumo, uh, no weight if you don't want. Again, go at your own pace. Turn. So you got center, 90 degrees to the left. Turn center, center sumo squat. Turn, that's it. Last four, last three. All right, I want you to stay here in your sumo squat. Get down low. We're going to pulse it. We're going to start with both heels on the ground. Keep that chest up, shoulders down and relaxed. You're going to keep pulsing. I know. They should start to burn soon. Again, hold your dumbbell if you wish. All right, now again, we're going to go back to that same one. We're going to go sumo squat in the center, turn, lunge, back to center. Go at your own pace. I want you to focus on the form, all right? We're focusing on the form. Nice work, guys. Last two. All right, bring yourself back to center. This time when you do your sumo squat, you're gonna have your right heel up, and we're just gonna pulse it. Right heel is up, left heel is on the ground. And again, keep that chest up, relax the shoulders, don't have them up by your ears, keep your head facing forward, pulse it, I know, it's going to start burning, it should start burning, this is what we call burnout, four, three, two, all right, put your heel back down, back one more time, remember, squat, turn, lunge, back to the center, squat, 
turn, lunge. So you gotta pivot your feet when you do this, all right? So that's the key. Make sure you pivot your feet, all right? Good job. We got four more. I know. If your legs are not burning, I don't know. You should be. All right, bring yourself back to center. This time, left heel up. Let's pulse it down, burn it. I know, it should be burning, right? Please yeah. tell me it's burning. <laughs> if it's not burning, we're gonna have to do more. Burning. <laughs> Last four, three, two, all right. Both heels up, hold it. We're not pulsing, we're just holding. We're gonna burn it out. Just hold it, just hold it. That's a call. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my God, shake it out. We saw that I was burning because, man, my legs are burning. All right, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right, we got one more leg. This one, we got our towel. So make sure your towel, you're holding about shoulder height. So make sure you're gonna stay all the way. Let's start with the right side. Left leg is back, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the towel as low down to the ground as you can. I'm gonna turn this way. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring it up. We got a bow. It's hard to do it slow, all right? Let's go. Bring it down. And again, hold tension. Bring it down. Bring it up. Bring it down. Ah. So again, this is hard. <laughs> Keep going. All that tension. You gotta balance on that left leg. <laughs> ah. Last four. Three, two, and one. All right. Shake it out, okay? We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, the key is to try to stay balanced on that right side. So first get yourself centered on that leg and bring it down and bring it up. Bring it down and bring it up. And again, hold that towel nice and tight. You're stretching that towel out. You got it. All right, last four, last three, two, and one. All right, one more bird out, here we go. Arms above your head. You're gonna take that right leg, bring it back. We're gonna bring your knee down 90 degrees, and we're just gonna pulse it here. We're gonna burn it out here, and again, hold that tight. Here we go, burn it out. Last four, here we go. Four, three, two, hold it down, hold it. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, shake it out. All right, one more burnout on the other side, okay? So again, first get yourself ready. Feet shoulder width apart, arms right above your head. Lunge, down it up. Full motion, full motion. All right, let's hold it down and pulse it. Let's hold it and pulse it. Pulse it. We're gonna burn it out here. All right, last four, three, two, hold it down, hold it here. Four, three, two, and one. All right, you can shake out the legs, I know. Your legs should be dead, your legs should be dead. All right, so we got one challenge, yesterday we did a, a squat challenge. This one is a pyramid challenge, so I'm gonna show you what it is. And you're gonna just try to see how many you can do. I'm gonna give you about like 90 seconds to try to do it. So here it is, and I'll show you the modification. So it's a pyramid, meaning you're gonna go one, two, three. So here we go. So you're gonna start with one push-up, one plank jack, two push-ups, two plank jacks, then three push-ups, 
then three plank jacks, all right? So here's your challenge. Come down to your knees if you need to do it for your push-ups. But here's your challenge for the end. We got at least a minute. All right, everybody get a position. Let's go. Again, count to yourself. So remember, one push-up, one plank jack. Then go to two push-ups, two plank jacks. And then you're gonna go down to three push-ups. And then three plank jacks. Again, feel free to come on your knees for the uh, push-ups if you want. If you could do them full push-ups, that's great. Let's go. Come on, guys. You're halfway there. You're halfway there. You're gonna count to see how high up you can go on this pyramid. Nice job, guys. Come on. Keep pushing through. You're only gonna beat yourself, or you can try to beat Cha, but I'm not sure anyone can. <laughs> but you're only competing against yourself. Come on. Let's go. We got five more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, I didn't get that high. I'm sure Cha did. <laughs> all right, roll out the shoulders, all right. We got a few minutes of abs, and then we're gonna cool down with a uh, our, um, with our, uh, what you call it, uh, stretches, all right? So, I want you just to hold one dumbbell, all right? So you're gonna hold the dumbbell over your head. So you're in a straight line. You're gonna come on up, and you're gonna bring the dumbbell under your knee, and bring it back over your head. Bring it up, other knee, bring it under and over. Over your head. Come on up, under, and over your head. Under. That's it. Nice job, guys. Under and over. Three. Under and over. We got three more. That's it. Last four. Three. Two. And one. All right. So, next one we're going to do. We're going to be in a side plank. So, I'm going to show a modified side plank. You guys can be in the full side plank. Make sure your elbow's right underneath your shoulder, arms straight up into the air. You're going to take that hand and you're going to curl it under, scoop underneath your body, and bring it back up. All right? Bring it under. And again, feel free to do the full side plank. If you want to make this harder, you can actually add a weight in your hand. But that's pretty challenging. <laughs> I'm not sure you want to do it. Oh, this is lightweight. There we go. Under. Last two. All right, I want you to hold it up, hold it up, hold it here, hold that side plank. Four, three, two, and one. All right. All we're going to do is going to switch to the other side. That's it. Again, I'm showing the modified side plank. Feel free to do the full side plank. Make sure your hand or elbow is right underneath your shoulder. And then get your hip up, body's in a straight line. Again, scoop under, and bring it up. Scoop under, and bring it up. There we go. Good. Nice work. Scoop under, bring it up. Last four. Last three. Two. Hold it up, hold it there. Hold it. Let's hold that side plank. Keep that heat hip up. Three, two, and one. Good job, guys. All right, next thing we're going to do, you're going to be on your back. So, make sure your hands are underneath your glutes if you need to, because you want to push the lower back into the ground. I shouldn't be able to even stick a piece of paper underneath your body, all right? Toes pointed up to the ceiling, all right? So what we're going to do is you're going to bring your legs down, you're going to open, and bring it back up to the top. Bring it down, open. So remember, I should not be able to put even a piece of paper underneath your lower back there, okay? You're gonna push that lower back into the ground. Down and open. Last four. Last three. Two, now you're gonna do the opposite direction. Open, close, bring it together, bring it back up. So just the same motion, except you're going to reverse the direction. Again, keep the legs as straight as you can. 
good. Nice and slow. We got four more. Three, two, and one. All right, hug the knees in. So we're gonna go back to our plank position. We're gonna work a little bit on our obliques. So I'm gonna show you, because I'm gonna go this way first. So make sure your hands and elbows are on the floor, and then you're going to twist the hips side to side. And you're just gonna twist. I think we ran out of music. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> we're almost done. So we're gonna um, stretch out in a few minutes too. We're just gonna twist side to side. Keep the abs tight. Last four. Last three, two, and one. All right, so we have one last hold. Okay, so if you want, you can hold a dumbbell here. Otherwise, no dumbbell, all right? So first start, and if you're a beginner, you're just gonna hold your hands up to the palms up. You're gonna take your feet up off the floor, and you're gonna lift, look up to the ceiling. I want you just to hold this position, all right? If you're more advanced, you can straighten the legs. If you're advanced, advanced, you're gonna hold that dumbbell up to the ceiling and hold the legs straight, all right? But I'm just gonna show the normal version, which is this. And you want to make sure your back is flat. Don't curve your back. Tilt your chin up to the ceiling. Find a spot on the ceiling and just stare at that spot. And I want you to breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth, and you just wanna breathe. And I want you to suck in that belly button because you're gonna use your core to hold you here. Again, advanced versions, you could use the dumbbell, hold the dumbbell up there, have the legs straight. If you can't have the knees bent, that's fine. The key is just to make sure your feet are up off the floor. And we're just gonna hold it here, continue breathing, breathe in, breathe out. Again, focus, just focus on that spot on the ceiling. Four. Three, two, and one. Oh, thank God, right? Okay, so we don't have any more music anyway, so this is a perfect time to stretch. Good job, guys. All right, so let's stretch because this is the best part. I want you to go ahead and lay on the ground. I want you to put your hands over your head, and I want you just to let your feet flop to the side. And I want you to go ahead and breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale and exhale. So consciously try to slow down your breath. I know that we're working hard today, so here's your chance to control your breath. In through your nose, exhale. All right. And when you're ready, I want you to go ahead and grab that right knee, bring it close to your body, and you're just gonna circle your foot around. All right. So this is gonna feel really good because we did a lot of legs today. You're gonna straighten out that leg. We're gonna point and flex that foot. And I want you to make sure that if you can, if it's comfortable, you can go ahead and bring your knee up to your, for, uh, your forehead up to your knee. If not, that's fine, just stay here. Again, continuing to point and flex the foot. But really feel that stretch down the back of the legs where your hamstrings are. All right, now this is gonna feel really good because we did a lot of glutes today. Cross the leg into your figure four, reach behind that left leg, and I want you to pull the left leg in as close to you as you can. Really try to pull it in. Good, slowly bring that leg back down. I want you to go ahead and take that right knee you're going to take your left hand, you're going to bring it over to the left side. I want you to extend that right arm, look over to the right. Good. All right. This time, you're going to bring yourself back to center. We're going to slowly switch to the other side. Again, left knee. Again, I want you to hug it into your chest as close as you can. I want you to circle the foot around, work out that ankle. Good. Continue breathing nice and slow. Slowly straighten that leg, point and flex that foot. And again, if you wanna bring your forehead all the way up to your knee, go ahead, you do what feels good. You just wanna feel a nice stretch. 
You should feel tension, not pain. All right, cross that leg over your right. And again, reach behind that right leg. And I really want you to pull that leg in as close as you can. This will really open up the hips and get a lot of legs today. All right, slowly lower that down. Again, you're gonna take that right hand, you're gonna bring the left knee over to the right side, extend the left arm, look over to the left. All right, I want you to continue rolling onto your stomach. I'm just gonna turn this way so you guys can see me. So you're on your stomach now, hands right next to your shoulders, tuck in the elbows. Let's take a nice deep inhale in and exhale up into that cobra. All right, bring yourself back down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, bring yourself up into that cobra. All right, I want you to push yourself back into a child's pose. So your knees go out to the side, toes are together, hands stretched forward, fingers spread apart. Push your hips back, your forehead's all the way to the mat. And I want you to push your hips back and I want you to sink down into the stretch. So this should be really good for your shoulders too. Breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. All right, this time I want you to take that right knee, you're gonna bring it up 90 degrees, all right? Shoulder width apart, 90 degrees. You're gonna take your hands up, up to the ceiling. First, look straight, and then now you're gonna lean forward slightly and look up to the ceiling. Good. Now this time I want you to put your hands next to your front foot. I want you to extend and straighten out that back leg. So you're in a nice runner's lunge. All right, so the hand that's closest to the foot, front foot, is gonna turn and look up to the ceiling. Good, bring your hand back down, put your knee back down, and this time I want you to switch knees. So now the left knee is forward. Again, make sure you're in a nice 90 degree. You're gonna come up. First start with your arms straight up to the ceiling, look straight ahead. And then just lean forward slightly and now turn your head up and look up to the ceiling. Stay here for a second. All right, now this time take your hands, put them right next to your front foot, back leg, extend it out so it's now nice and straight. And then very slowly, the hand that's next to the foot, front foot, turn. So your chest should be opening up towards that knee. Good. Put your hand back down. Put your knees back down and let's now be in a tabletop. All right, I'm gonna turn this way again. Now we're in a tabletop. You're gonna take that right hand, you're gonna put it next to your ear, elbow down, and then I want you to bring your elbow up to the ceiling, open up that chest. Keep doing this a couple of times. Open and close. Elbow down, bring the elbow up. Good. All right, and when you're ready, you're gonna switch sides. Make sure your hand stays right underneath your shoulder. Hand right next to your ear, elbow down, and then bring the elbow up. Open up the chest again here, okay? Good job. This should feel good to open up your chest. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, this time you're gonna come onto the balls of your feet. You're gonna come into a squat, okay? And I want you to keep your chin tucked in. I want you to first slowly straighten the legs. Grab the elbow. 